left. Hello everyone, welcome to Make Tiny ML channel. In this video, we are going to see about my new project uh, called uh, Smart AL Med for Cyclics. Uh, I took a very generic uh, problem statement which is faced by every cyclist across the universe like um, hand signal. So if you are uh, riding in a very tough terrain or in a very congested city, sometimes it is difficult to uh, drive and also give some hand signal to turn left or right. And even I faced the same uh, when I was in a, uh, back in India. So that time I thought about some project and I could not be able to proceed further. Um, then I took that problem statement again and I created a complete end-to-end -end solution using embedded AI. So I just created like a smart A helmet. What that helmet will do is like a kind of uh, ACD feature in iPhone. Like the similar things, it's like a keyboard spotting but I deployed in the microcontrollers. That is a, a key difference. And um, so the, I trained the model. Uh, it will just detect the left or right. And based on that, it will just turn on the specific LEDs in my helmet. So this will be uh, very useful for any cyclist. Like uh, if they want to just give some signal instead of hand signal, they can just simply tell left or right. So it will just detect the, the microcontroller will detect the keyboard left. Right. Left. Right. Uh, let's go to the project now. Yes, so the complete detailed documentation is I have uh, captured in the Hackstep page. You can see this. So this is the complete outcome of my uh, prototype. So it has the microcontroller and the power bank to supply the power and also the two LEDs. Uh, it's like a flexible LEDs so that it will be easy to fix in any kind of helmet. And I designed this in uh, by keeping in the mind like it should be a portable and uh, uh the leg like, cyclists can carry anywhere and should be they can fit in any element so that's why i just designed in that way not to keep any extra electronics in the cycle yeah okay so how does it works so i use the edge impulse software and the i used audino potent s7 and i trained the model in edge impulse by recording the uh, keywords like left right and road noise and um, so that I able to train the model and um, once once we train the model and we get a very good desired result we can uh, flash it back into the hardware so you can see that uh, so this is how it works I think um, the detail uh, the working demo also I'm, uh, 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 you can see that detailed working video also and um, and why it takes more time. So initially I thought about this idea five years back, but that time I don't get a very good validation result. So I just put this project on hold for a long time. Then recently like uh, there is the continuous inferencing is the on new um, feature, which is uh, available in engine plus like, uh, I, can say, I can tell in a very simple manner, like um, uh, we have the microcontroller. So, once we rec uh, deploy the machine learning model to the microcontroller, it needs to keep recording and um, it needs to detect that. And then it, it based on the outcome, it should uh, enable the LED, correct? But if you say it's not, uh, we don't have any predicted time, right? The users can tell at any instance, like left, right, at any time. So the microcontroller should keep on recording it, that complete uh, audio data for every once again, and also it needs to process it. So that is the very challenging. So the result is really good in the system. And, but when I deploy back to the microcontroller, the result are very poor, but now 
due to the uh, using the key um, continuous inferencing which i will explain much more detail in the video now so using that technology what it happens is like it was like doing the parallel processing so it will keep on recording the audio samples like a uh, one second it will be split into four two fifty ml ms to for the optimization so it will keep on recording the audio and for every two fifty millisecond it will perform the uh, analysis and it will predict the result and after of one second so it will have the combination okay how much time it able to detect predict it's something keyword related to left or right if the um, probability is high then it will say okay it's a left or right so it's like a parallel kind of processing so so that means the microcontroller will keep recording the data at the same time it will keep processing the data so that we will get the uh, uh, required result and in this demo video you can see that whenever i say it, it's, it's spontaneous it, it detects that so that is the uh, desired result i need so i just put this project on hold now i got the result so i'm just publishing it with the latest model so let's go to the project so this project is available in uh, my excel page as well you can clone this and um, as i mentioned uh, i have used that audio uh, processing block as mfcc and window size is thousand and um, the neural network is I, I always use the classifier for this which because i get get a very uh, desired result for me i don't want to change anything so this mfcc i didn't change any of the parameters and um, so it's based on your uh, project like if you want to use this kind of similar project for any other features maybe based on your um, input it might need to change so here you can see that left right road noise and uh, it can show one more thing like a data acquisition look how it looks and also i want it to be more accurate not just for the demo purpose so i just collect all the road noise and also with the road noise with the left and right we can see all the data so i was just uh just i'm standing near the road and i was recording there with my laptop by saying left and right and um, every process were looking like who is the guy what he's doing and yes let's go to the classifier so i use the number of training cycles as 100 here that should be sufficient learning rate is 0 0.005 i use and um, it's kind of like uh, i use the reshape layer and uh, change the the, the arrays and now i use the 1d convolutional pool layer with eight filters and a dropout so dropout is for the accuracy so so everything is, is by book I, I i didn't try much uh it's kind of like a trial and error and also like of uh what is the 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 guidance says so i'm just follow the same thing here the dropout i used 0.25 for a better accuracy and you can see the accuracy is really good and also it performs really well in the uh, real demo and uh, model testing so i have tested the model with some this data which i didn't use for the training so you can see here sometimes it failed but most of the time it, the accuracy is really good that that should be fine and yes the deployment so in the deployment i use the arduino library and uh, i use the yarn compiler which will be a like a optimized one because instead of flow 32 they are using the int 8 uh, but with the same accuracy the performance is uh, not sacrificed so that means we will get the same performance same accuracy but with uh, less memory so we, that's kind of like a very good optimization and once we deploy it i need to add my logic so i'll go back to my um, accept page you can see whatever i explained here i just documented you can just go through this and um, yes so this is the step it's just not keyword detection we need to enable the specific leds based on the keyword detected so we have to add the files first and after that uh, we need to select the continuous not just the microphone so that is a key difference so what does the continuous does so there is a very detailed uh, description available in this link but i can give an a high level overview what is happening here so this diagram simply explains okay so we are sampling the audio and it's keep on recording at the parallel time it will whatever it recorded that will be uh, processed to classify the output so it's like every 250 millisecond it's processed here so that is like a parallel processing happening so that's why the keyword 
sporting works more accurate in the microcontroller and the algorithm on top of the code i used a very simple one it's like uh, after detecting the left or right i should close specific led with uh, like 500 millisecond it should be turned on and after that it, for, for next 500 millisecond it should be turned off it's a very simple logic i added on top of that and you can see that uh, uh, it's just a prototype with a good working um, 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 result so i didn't focus much on the hardware like um, the design so you can see that i use a simple um, box with which which contains a microcontroller and just uh, have a belt where it can just tie the leds the leds is, uh, is a flexible one yes you can able to find all the connection diagram here and uh, my audio code which have all the alg uh, algorithms everything is here so you can follow this one yes uh that's all i think i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i'm going to come up with a lot of more interesting projects uh please subscribe to my channel keep supporting me thank you